So yesterday we talked about Niji Sanji English's Hex Haywire getting into a bit of trouble with fans due to this clip taken from one of his recent roleplay streams. So oh, it's fine I gave and got a cute kisses from a cute girl that wasn't you last night. That's fine, that's fine. Women are a different story. Women suffer enough. You can get cute kisses from a girl. That's that's really adorable. But other men, no, 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 no. We have to talk about that. We must talk about that. This clip had people rather upset with the way he phrased it, saying he is fetishizing WLW relationships and a bunch of other things. And well, shortly after I uploaded that video, I found out that Hex has actually apologized for this on his most recent stream and last stream before his break, having this to say about the situation. But I wanted to talk about a post that I saw on Twitter. And uh, I want to talk about what I said during the Yandere stream. I think that it's important to take accountability. And I have to be honest, when I when I saw the clip that was circulating, um, I was really confused because it's it's something I've heard before multiple times. And so it, it came off to me as something somewhat normalized. And my brain was being very stupid. And I, I, I am pretty fucking stupid. I, I looked into the topic myself and... And and I read about it, and I'm, I understand why. I understand now why nonchalant comments like that, that sometimes that we've all heard, can can be hurtful. And I'm I'm sorry for for perpetuating, you know, possibly detrimental archetypes like that unknowingly. I know this is a bit of a 180. <laughs> I'm so sorry, everybody. But now I understand basically why I shouldn't say some of these things and i'll try to do so more in the future again i was supposed to be playing a toxic archetype and i i was supposed to be that was quite literally a role play stream at the same time so you know i figure that this is something i wanted to bring up because it, it's something close to me as well i want everybody i want this community to basically be as solid as it can be and i want to be able to take accountability for some of the things that i feel like i should take accountability for and sometimes i do get too much into a role but that doesn't excuse some of the things that i say and i'm i am sorry if i offended anybody and i wanted to to take accountability for that but that being said, I do know that my intentions were were just to entertain. That literally was it. That's why when I saw what was circulating on Twitter, it did weird me out quite a bit. But it wasn't something that... Well, I, I did not have any ill intentions. So thank you, everybody, for, for listening to me on this. And <laughs> thank you for the love. I'm like overdrawn and overwhelmed with so many different emotions because I feel like there's just so much to, you know, like this is also sudden and having to say goodbye is, is such a, a very difficult thing that I have to do. Now, there have been people commenting on that apology saying things like, quote, what kind of apology was that? Edit, because I had to see what chat looked like and I'm not even surprised, calling us the people who were offended chronically online and lots of coodling instead of letting you speak, VTuber fans, stop babying grown man, challenge, go. And another read, quote, as a lesbian viewers of yours, thank you for taking accountability and doing research and apologizing. I hope you'll continue to learn and grow and take accountability in the future. For anyone babying him in live chat and on Twitter, especially those who are not sapphic you are not helping him or the community in any way i promise you babying him and going oh you did nothing wrong helps nobody and it just makes other people feel like they aren't welcome in this community as well as does not help hex grow as a streamer or a person so much like yesterday when i covered the story please just let me know what you all think about this situation down below i am personally really glad to see hex taking a break because he definitely needs one but let's go ahead and move on over to some massive news coming out from hololive that being the fact that in q1 of this year Five out of the top 10 female streamers on Twitch and YouTube were Hololive members. And the number one on the top of all of them was our rabbit Usada Pecora. This of course had news outlets like Dixero talking about it, which unfortunately led to people being pissy about a VTuber winning, calling her a cartoon, stating that she's secretly a man, among other horrible things. They were also making fun of the fans that watch her and other VTubers as well, which was really, really stupid to do. It has been really annoying that VTubers still have to deal with people hating on us for being successful, but hey, fuck them. Congrats to Hololive on their massive success. As we now move on over to a story we covered a few days ago regarding Opera GX's VTuber auditions for Aura. It had people upset with the fact that they were only looking for someone between the ages of 20 through 30 years old. Ever since then, they have posted an FAQ about the auditions, which is a very good read if you are interested, but they ended up addressing the whole age situation, saying, quote, as long as you are over the age of 18, you can be Aura. There were some complaints about the applications limiting the applicants to a specific age range. That, however, is false. We simply imagine Aura as a young adult. If you have a voice that matches that pitch, you are more than welcome to apply. This goes for everyone regardless of gender identity. So if you are over the age of 18 and would like to work with Opera, then please go ahead and audition and please make sure to have a wonderful rest of your day and take care of yourself. Bye-bye!